Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Ann Pappas. I'm a somatic experiencing trauma resolution practitioner and also a licensed massage therapist in New Jersey and Pennsylvania and a yoga teacher trainer for about 27 years, teaching teachers, certifying them and getting deep with small groups of people. Anyway, today I wanted to just explore with you a little bit about um, the concept of how or the practice of how we can embody really strong, intense emotions that we may be feeling right now during this pandemic. How can we feel it without overwhelming ourselves? And how can we not um, try to run away from it at the same time and go into denial and maybe uh, override it with trying to give ourselves platitudes or Pollyanna talk or being too positive? which is then denying what's really happening and what the body needs from us and our attention. So it's a delicate balance. We don't want to overwhelm ourselves, yet we don't want to also overlook the good in life and the beauty and gratitude. But also this poor body of ours is just going through so many sensations and overwhelm at times. So one technique to expand our capacity to tolerate these emotions and tolerate these sensations is to pendulate or swing, you know, like a pendulum, our attention from the tightest area, wherever that might be, your head, your neck, your chest and shoulders, your stomach, your hips, your low back. Let some of our, the rest of our body take some of the burden. So if you're trying to lift a hundred pounds with one arm, this poor arm is not going to be able to handle it. That's kind of like the stress we might feel. Maybe it's all up here with like a vice grip on your head. I felt that the other day. We need to let other parts of our body help us embody the sensations and emotions and spread it out. Let the other arm help lift that 100 pound weight or let other parts of our body help us deal with it so we can really embody the emotion without overwhelming ourselves, but actually also without um, trying to run away from it or change it. You know, really being with our emotions, intense emotions right now. So right now, if you want, just um, take a moment and you don't have to really change anything. Just start to let your attention hone in on your own body. And just notice where you feel the most sensation of emotion right now. For me right now, it's in my forehead. For you, it could be somewhere else. You're just gonna take your hand there, wherever it is for you. Maybe take your right hand there. And as you're just breathing, maybe you want to do a little bit more of a conscious exhale. The exhalation brings on the parasympathetic nervous system. A long exhale, don't worry about the inhale, Just Exhale long and slow. Feeling that area of the most distress. And then feeling your hand, letting your hand do a takeover, letting your hand become a part of it. We're expanding our emotional tolerance, expand our emotional capacity into the hand if the hand can handle a little bit more. Maybe feel whatever you feel in your hand. It could be warmth or energy or something else, but feel your hand feeling your forehead or feeling your heart or feeling your stomach, wherever it is. And as you breathe long and slow, exhaling. Just keep noticing what's happening. Another technique is wherever you're feeling it most, take your other hand and put it somewhere where you're not feeling as much distress. So maybe it's your foot, or maybe it's your knee. And also just do this. So feel that area of distress, of intense emotions, but also feel the other areas that you can feel that aren't in distress. 
Let yourself feel your whole body and the emotion at the same time, feeling everything. Let your whole body become a container for this emotion. And if more emotion comes or if tears come, you can let them come. Whatever is happening, try not to overwhelm yourself. Stay with the areas that you can notice that can detect the least amount of positivity or change in a relaxed or more calm state. Again, not to be Pollyanna about it, but just where can you feel the slightest amount of positive or neutral sensation in your body? So I'm going to change it now. And it might change for you. So all of a sudden you might start to feel, I'm feeling some tension in my shoulder here. So I can put one hand there. And then I also feel that, you know, my foot is still really calm. So feeling my foot. And letting the sensations be there of the strong emotion, but also letting it run through our body, letting it expand out to places that aren't as burdened. So we can really let these emotions and sensations move through us rather than getting stuck and turning into illness or debilitating us. You know, and only stay as long as you want. You can do this for a little longer if you want. If you notice another area that starts to come to your attention, you could put, put a hand there. But always try to run your attention also as you feel this intensity. Try to feel somewhere or something else that is not as intense. And expand that emotion outward into your body. That long exhalation, you can even let it out with a ah sound or just through pursed lips if it helps to let yourself tolerate or embody you can sway a little bit being one with yourself being one with these emotions not letting it take you down the tubes but not ignoring it either. And when you feel complete, maybe just take a moment and look around you. You might only be able to look a little bit in front of you, that's okay. Looking out sometimes is too expansive and it gets us a little disassociated. So whatever you can notice right now, maybe the colors in the room or the lighting or something else. Letting your head and neck move if possible. Just looking into your surroundings. Seeing if you can notice. I noticed some rainbows from the prism I have on the window. Anything that is okay for you to look at or even pleasant. Letting our nervous system complete a cycle of activation and deactivation. So you can practice this anytime, even if you only have a few minutes, even if you have a face mask on, you can still breathe and feel. And if you feel uncomfortable putting your hands in places, you can still put your attention on the places of intense sensation or stress. And then pendulate, swing your attention to places that don't have as much sensation or that actually feel neutral or okay or grounded. And let your attention expand out from the stressful area to other parts of your body. So I hope that's helpful in some way. And um, every day is something new and different for us. And we're all expanding our capacity in ways we never, never dreamed of. And expanding our heart. And um, from my home to yours, um, I wish you lots of love and it's a practice so this might not be easy and it might not be popular to feel these things but I really think we have to feel our emotions and be able to tolerate to get through this time. Okay.
I'll see you soon.